Jerry Springer changed the entertainment landscape with his tabloid talk show, famous for capitalizing on confrontation. His family confirmed today he died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 79. Here's CTV's Richard Madden on the politician turned TV ringmaster. His TV show was lewd, salacious, and often chaotic. Thank you. Welcome to the show. My but that was Jerry Springer's recipe for success, pioneering a shocking brand of daytime TV that defined an era. Well, here's what I'm worried about, that one day this show will be put in a time capsule. <laughs> At the time, critics declared it the worst show on television, with the host gleefully pitting couples against each other. What do you mean, get married? You have a girlfriend? I have a fiancé. And encouraging guests to embarrass themselves. I'm standing up here. But viewers couldn't get enough. The Jerry Springer show spanned nearly three decades, 4,000 episodes, and at its peak, 8 million viewers. Ratings that sometimes topped daytime rival Oprah Winfrey. And Jerry Springer was under no illusions. But I was hired to be a ringleader of a circus. Our show is as silly, crazy, outrageous, sometimes as stupid as you can get. Gerald Norman Springer was born in 1944 in an underground bomb shelter in London. His Jewish family fled the Nazis and moved to the U.S. Springer went to law school and would later become the mayor of Cincinnati in the 70s, but resigned after a prostitution scandal. Fence base where the U.S. dropped. He would later reinvent himself as a local news anchor before getting his own syndicated show that vaulted him into stardom, forever changing daytime talk. I'm here to meet Jerry. Springer made other TV cameos, but it was his namesake show that cemented his legacy in American pop culture, ending each episode with a familiar final thought. Take care of yourself and each other. And in that spirit, Springer's family is asking fans to commit a random act of kindness in lieu of flowers. Richard Madden, CTV News, Washington.